Hi everyone. This video is dedicated to Volume Journal. This module is used for finding maximum volume prices or so-called point of control (POC) for the selected time interval. Let's look at the S&P 500 futures as an example. We select the symbol and the interval, day, week, month, or the entire contract. Let's select the daily interval the current date and click Apply. So, what do these numbers mean and how to interpret them? Let's take a look at each column. The Volume column shows volume at a certain price up to the moment when a new maximum volume price, or POC, is reached. For example, at the moment, the new POC price is 37.75. By 10.41 a.m. Chicago time, 11,010 contracts had been traded since the start of the trading session. The Now Volume column shows the total volume at a given price at the current moment. Let's take another example to understand how the volume journal functions. For example, let's take the price 3790. At 10.10 10 a.m., 9,290 contracts were traded at this price and this volume surpassed the previous volume at the price of 37.85 and became the maximum volume price or the POC at 10:10 10, 10 a.m. but 14 minutes later 9536 contracts were traded at the price of 37.85 and this price seized the leadership and became the POC and at the moment since the beginning of the session 10,435 contracts have already been traded at this price. And let's move on to other columns. Now Delta Tick Direct, this is the total delta for a given price, calculated according to the price direction change. Now Delta Aggressor is the total delta at the given price that is calculated based on the exchange data. The difference between these types of delta is described in a separate article. The link will be under the video. We can copy and paste any price from the volume journal onto the chart by right-clicking on it and clicking Copy Line, or by pressing Ctrl-C. And we can paste it on the chart through the menu Setup, Lines, Paste, or by pressing Ctrl-P. And then let's change the color of the line and sign this line, for example, today's POC. And on the horizontal histogram, we also see the point of control. You can notice that the price and the value are the same as in Volume Journal. Now let's try to find the POC for the last week. Select the weekly interval and date and click Apply. And so, using the Now Volume column, we can filter the values and find the weekly POC. Let's copy it and let's load the chart for the previous week and compare the maximum volume price to the horizontal histogram to check if the POC is correct. Let's paste this price level on the chart and then change color and sign this line as POC of the week. On the horizontal histogram, we see that the value and the price are the same as in Volume Journal. In the same way, we can identify the POCs of the month and the entire contract. And finally, let's take a look at the Setup menu. Here you can set up limits for each of the columns. For example, let's mark with blue the values in the Now Volume column that exceeds 30,000. And here we see our filtered values. That's all for now. If you have any questions about the Volfix platform, please contact our technical support. We will always be happy to help you. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.